Uh, doing all right. Bunch of questions, as you know. Uh, first question. Uh, you guys did over 60 tunes on this uh, last session. I've always wondered, uh, do you guys uh, refer back to a lot of those um, tunes that you guys did, or do you uh, just scratch everything and start again on future albums? Yeah, we usually start again anew. Uh, we never really go back and revisit old demos. Uh, I just think because whatever we come up with and whatever's written, the newer stuff always seems fresh and you're, you're more excited about it. Okay. If it didn't make it the first time, uh, it certainly wouldn't make it two times later. So generally those are scrapped. Okay. Uh, next question is, would you guys are trying to find a balance between obviously trying to sound different but also uh, maintain your staple sound? Like how does it, how do you guys go about doing that sort of thing? You know, actually, I don't know if it's really that premeditated. I think as a song develops, it kind of takes on a life and kind of goes where it wants to. And sometimes uh, you hear different instruments in your head, and, and, and you know, and to be in the studio, this time was so relaxed. We had Howard Benson as our producer, and, and he made us feel pretty comfortable and feel like if, if we wanted to try something, you know, why the hell not? Just give it a go and see what you come up with. And uh, that's why you hear different instruments and different sounds and colors on this album with piano possibly or sitar or, you know, different instrumentation. Uh, but, you know, um, ultimately it still ends up being Cedar with Sean singing. And, you know, we're, we're not going to come out with a country or a jazz album. We just uh, try to, you know, maybe expand, expand our horizons a little bit, think a little outside the box. And try to grow, you know, a little in the meantime, you know. Okay. Uh, now, with um, obviously, you guys were saying that you guys are trying to put more melody into this uh, new album. Um, is uh, is that something that is really, really required uh, for radio friendly type of uh, songs get played? Uh, that last part again. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, what I was saying is about with melody and how much emphasis you're putting on this new album with melody. Sure. Now, is that something that is obviously a requirement to get played on the radio? You know, I think that's something that comes very natural. Uh, obviously, some songs, uh, as they develop, it becomes obvious that they're going to be singles, in this case, Fake It. Uh, but uh, generally, Sean has always been very melodic, at least to me. Even with the heavy, aggressive stuff like Suicide or Going Back to Because of Me or even Gasoline. Uh, heavier songs, aggressive riffs, but Sean's very melodic, which uh, I'm, I'm personally, you know, being within the band sounds weird, but I'm a, you know, personally a fan of Sean. Uh, he can turn a heavy song and, and be very melodic at the same time. Right, okay. Now, the song Broken, is that somewhat of a song that still kind of haunts you at all? You know, uh, we're very comfortable in our own skin these days, and in fact, we perform Broken live just as it were. We have uh, Three Days Grace and Breaking Benjamin, whom we're on tour with right now. And a couple of guys from that band come out and play that song with us live. Adam, the singer for Three Days Grace, uh, does Amy's part. He does it awesome. And, uh, you know, at the time, I guess it was sort of bittersweet, you know, the band that maybe people felt were riding on the coattails of Evanescence or something. And at the time, that wasn't, you know, uh, that, that was, you know, kind of harsh and, and, and hard to take at times. But the song originally belonged to Cedar, was put on the first album, completely stripped down in acoustic. Right. And to be able to perform it now, I, you know, fans love it, uh, expect it. And, uh, you know, it's something that's in the repertoire and belongs in what embodies Cedar. Something just as heavy, again, like I said, as gasoline or like suicide. We can also do broken and, you know, uh, and, and those types of songs as well. All right, sounds good. Now, with uh, this new album, have you guys obviously put more emphasis on optimism in this album lyrically as opposed to previous albums? Yeah, I think so. A song like Rise Above This was put into the middle of the album uh, for, a, for a purpose. You know, we even take consideration into the track listing before releasing the CD, and we put that in there as a breather and as a, you know, a point of relief as light at the end of the tunnel. And I think, uh, you know, overall, yeah, this is more optimistic uh, than in, in previous times, and I think it's about Sean personally. He always wears his heart on his sleeve and tells it honestly like it is. Maybe it seems vague so that the lyrics can apply to anybody in their particular situation. That's the beauty of music. 
But, uh, you know, yeah, I think he's riding with a little more optimism and, and a, a little bit, you know, brighter outlook at times. I think that's just about being human. And, you know, if you're in a negative point at the time, the music will come out that way. And if you're a little bit, maybe the glass is half full rather than half empty, maybe you, you, you tend to be lean more to that direction, you know. Okay. Uh, now, with your song like Walk Away From The Sun, uh, obviously there are references of the album or that particular song sounding a little more grown up. I mean, is that pretty well a fair statement at all, or has that been applied throughout the whole album? Has that been what? Uh, has that uh, more grown up approach been uh, applied to the whole album? Does that make sense? I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I apologize. Okay, no problem. In in your song Walk Away From The Sun, there was a, a reference uh, that you know, that song sounded more quote-unquote grown up. With that in mind, have you guys applied that whole logic, I guess, uh, on the whole album to make it more sound a lot more grown up than versus previous albums, or...? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I personally kind of tagged that as, you know, uh, when Sean played it to me, the finished product of that song, I'm like, man, that sounds really mature, you know? I, I feel like we're, you know, maturing as artists, as musicians. Right. And uh, I, the song just, just came together and, and just, some songs kind of mix themselves, you know? They just, as you add the instrumentation, the parts, the arrangement, the whole body of the song, you know, it just kind of it comes together and just snaps all of a sudden. Okay. And that was just kind of a phrase that came out of my mouth. It's like, wow, it just sounds very mature for us, you know. Not that we've made, you know, tongue-in-cheek crap music, but just that, you know, I just feel like uh, a lot of things have come together. Uh, it didn't take, you know, a lot of, of, of effort. I mean, the music just kind of flowed out of us. In previous time, we've, we've really rehearsed and demoed songs before we went in the studio and the process is basically just recreating the demos but with better quality and in this case we did a little preparation we got the songs and then literally had not really performed them in some cases not the band hadn't even ran through them and we were tracking this thing and just whatever came out howard would stop and go whatever you just did do it again and you would do it again and it just flowed it naturally happened and i just feel that Wow, when we didn't overthink things, things really kind of came together, and it just, I just feel like we're just kind of, we're, we're continuing to evolve as musicians, you know? All right, uh, last question. Uh, with uh, this new album, uh, is it uh, been fairly well received among a lot of press in terms of reviews and all that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, overall, the, the, the general consensus has been great. I mean, just like with anything, there's been some, you know, negative out there. But uh, I feel really confident in, in what we produce, the direction of this album, and, and the sound. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, what other business can you put your heart and soul into something and then have it critiqued by the world? Right. But uh, before we released it, I mean, and, and there's no reason why my attitude would change after it. I still feel, and we all feel real confident and very proud of this CD. Okay, great. That's uh, pretty well it for me. Um, appreciate all your time and all that. Yeah, you bet. I apologize on uh, the connection. I, I Not a problem, not a problem. I'm also on a speakerphone, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Same with you. Bye. Bye-bye.